I want to send it now to my colleague Jennifer Mayerly, who's live at GOP headquarters. Jen? Thanks, Derek. Yes, we are live here in St. Louis Park at GOP headquarters, and the party tells me they feel guardedly optimistic about the statewide races and the legislative candidates. This is the room where supporters will start to gather in about an hour, and then later this evening, candidates will be here, too. Now, we talked with the Republican Party chair who said he thinks Minnesotans are ready for change. He thinks that could lead to a good night for Scott Jensen and Matt Burke in the governor's race. I think the public is very frustrated with uh, the leadership they've gotten from Democrats. Uh, we, we have uh, been looking throughout the campaign for the governor to tell us the things that he has done, the things he has accomplished. There's nothing. All he's been doing is attacking our candidates, criticizing them, trying to make issues into issues that really don't have anything to do with what people are concerned about, which is the economy, uh, inflation, the crime, the failing educational system that we have. All those things are owned by Governor Waltz. All right, so I asked, what will it take for Republicans to oust incumbents? He said more votes. But really, he said it may come down to which party did a better job of rallying voters to actually get out to vote. I'll be here tonight with my colleague Jonah Kaplan bringing you live updates from here at GOP headquarters throughout the night on WCCO and streaming on CBS News Minnesota. Frank. Great. We'll look forward to hearing more, Jen.